Hi guys, my name is Jeff Hardy T. Aguas and we are group 7. So, in this video is we are going to discuss or evaluate the, the special limits. Evaluating those kinds of function which is trigonometric and exponential function. So first, what is special limits? The special limit theorems are a set of rules to evaluate certain limits. They are special because they tackle limits that can easily be evaluated by any of the usual methods. In a way, they are shortcuts to dealing with specific forms of limits. So these are the general steps by evaluating special limits. First is to check if the function value is indeterminate. So first thing that we need to do is to, substitute, is to substitute the value of x or any letter to our function. If it becomes indeterminate, we have now to go to the next step, which is to manipulate the functions to obtain expressions sine x over x, 1 minus cosine x over x, and e raised to x minus 1 over x, as long as the function of sine is the same as the denominator and the function of the cosine is the same as the denominator and the exponent of e is the same as the denominator and when you evaluate to the value of x and it becomes to indeterminate and then we can see we can apply the value of special limits so apply the limit loss and the value of special limits and now, what are the ways to manipulate the given functions? So here are, are just some of the ways that we can do. First is multiplying the numerator and the denominator by similar expressions. And another one is factoring either the numerator, denominator, or both. We can factor if the terms is factorable. And after we factor, pwede na natin sila simplify. And last is splitting the functions as a sum, difference, or product of two or more fractions. So later, makikita natin sa given equation kung pwede natin sila i-split o paghiwalayin into two or more different fractions, then we can also do it. So these are the, these are some of the ways on how we get, on how we manipulate our functions. Number one is to evaluate the limit of sine e raised to 2x plus 2 minus 1 over e raised to x plus 1 minus 1 as x approaches to negative 1. So the first thing that we need to do is to direct substitution the value of x and we get sine e raised to 2 times negative 1 plus 2 minus 1 over e raised to negative 1 plus 1 minus 1. So we get 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. Now, we solve the special limits. So, we need to do is to think on how to manipulate this equation. So, pwede, na, pwede natin i-factor yung exponent ng numerator. Na alam naman natin na pagparehas o factorable, either numerator or denominator, we can simplify it. So, Pag sinimplify natin yung, yung, yung exponent ng numerator, we get 2x plus 2 over x plus 1. So, pag factor, it becomes 2x plus 1 over x plus 1. So, pwede natin i-cancel yung x plus 1 sa numerator and the denominator. And then, we get 2. So, the answer for this equation is 2. So, let's proceed na sa another given, which is the limit of e raised to 1 minus cosine x squared minus 1 over e raised to 4 minus 4 cosine x squared minus 1 as x approaches to 0. So, ang una natin gagawin is direct substitution. Uh, isa substitute lang natin yung value ng x, which is yung 0. So, 0 over 0 siya. So, alam naman natin pag 0 over 0 is indeterminate siya. So, we can 
So, the special limit na. So, una natin gagawin is to use 1 minus cosine x squared equals sin x squared to simplify the expression. So, papalitan lang natin yung 1 minus cosine x squared ng sin x squared. So, next naman is papactor natin yung nasa baba, yung 4 minus 4 cosine x squared. So, magiging 4, 1 minus cosine x squared. So, dahil 1 minus cosine x squared na siya, papalitan ulit natin siya ng sin x squared. So, dahil pinalitan na natin siya, magiging sin x squared na yung 1 minus cosine x squared. So, next naman is use a squared minus b squared equal a minus b times a plus b. Para ma-factor natin yung nasa baba which is yung e for sin x squared. So, magiging ganyan na siya. Then, sunod naman is pa-factor naman natin ulit yung e raised to 2 sin x squared minus 1. So, pag pinactor natin siya is ganito yung kakalabasan niya. Yan, ganyan. Tapos, pwede na, pwede na natin makancel yung common factor which is the e raised to sin x squared minus 1 and yung sa taas e raised to sin x squared minus 1. So, nakancel na natin sila. So, ganito na lang siya. Then, we can use a calculator to simplify the expression sa baba. So, ganito yung kakalabasan niya kapag kinalculator natin siya. Then, sunod is to substitute na natin yung value ng x which is yung 0. Papalitan lang natin yung x ng 0. So, kapag kinalculator natin to is yung kakalabasan niya po is 1 fourth. So, the final answer of this given is 1 fourth. Thank you. So, next is evaluate the limit of e raised to sine squared x plus 1 minus 1 over e raised to sine x plus 1 minus 1 as x approaches to negative 1. So, the first thing that we need to do is to direct substitution, direct substitution the value of x which is negative 1. So, the equation is e raised to sine squared negative 1 plus 1 minus 1 over e raised to sine negative 1 plus 1 minus 1. So, we get 0 over 0 which is indeterminate. So, now, we can solve the special limits. We need to expand the given equation. So, to copy the, exp the equation as e sine e raised to sine squared x plus 1 minus 1 over e sine x plus 1 minus 1. So, as far as I know, the value of sine squared is 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. And we get and we get this given 1 minus cosine 2x over 2 x plus 1 minus 1 over e raised to sine x plus 1 minus 1. So e si simplify natin yung value ng yung numerator and we get 1 minus cosine x squared plus x over e raised to sine x plus 1 minus 1. So, and then we substitute the value of x by negative 1. So, the equation is 1 minus cosine negative 1 squared plus negative 1 over e raised to sine negative 1 plus 1 minus 1. So, we get 0. So, here's the other way to manipulate by multiplying is the other way to solve this equation. So, we need to manipulate by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by its similar expressions. So, we get x plus 1 over x plus 1 multiplied to x plus 1 over x plus 1. So, the value of this equation is 0 and then multiply to value of this equation is 0. So, the answer is the same as 0. Evaluate so, for number 5 is evaluate the limit of sine squared x squared minus 2x minus 3 plus sine 
times x minus 3 over x squared minus 9 times x plus 1 as x approaches to 3. So, we, the first thing that we need to do is to direct substitution the value of, the value of x. So, the equation is sine squared times 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 3 plus sine times 3 minus 3 over 3 squared minus 9 times 3 plus 1. So, the answer is 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. So, we need to solve the special limits. So, in this equation, we manipulate by splitting the, the fraction as, as, as a sum, difference, or product, or two or more fractions. So, pwede natin silang paghiwaliin, and we get, and change again, kagaya sa number 3, the value of sine squared. So, the equation is 1 minus cosine 2x over 2 times x squared minus 2x minus 3 over x squared minus 9 times x plus 1 plus sine times x minus 3 over x squared minus 9 times x plus 1. And we simplify the numerator of the numerator ito. So we get 1 cosine 1 minus cosine x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3 over x squared minus 9 times x plus 1 plus x plus sine times x minus 3 over x squared minus 9 times x plus 1. So we factor both numerator and denominator and we we get this func and we get this equation 1 minus cosine x times x plus 1 times x minus 3 over x minus 3 times x plus 3 times x plus 1 plus sine times x minus 3 over x minus 3 times x plus 3 times x plus 1. So we cancel all, all the same terms and we get 1 minus cosine x over x as multiply x over x plus 3. So plus 1 over 24. So the value of this equation is 0 plus 1 over 24. And so we add this and we get 1 over 24. So the the answer of this equation is 1 over 24. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.